I was uh, sitting peacefully in my study in Bethany, Connecticut when the phone rang uh, a good many years ago now, 1985 I think it was. It was Mary Krieger, an old friend of mine, uh, calling up to invite me to consider a position at Irvine. I had just turned down a position at uh, uh, UCLA and I said, no, I can't do that. He said, don't say no, just let, let us uh, make our uh, invitation. I then visited Irvine to see what it was they had to offer and it was a combination of Murray Krieger and the then Executive Vice Chancellor Bill Lilliman who persuaded me that this would be a good idea. Uh, I remember vividly one part of it. I had my encounter uh, to discuss the details of the invitation with uh, uh, Lilliman and uh, at some point, no doubt he'd been coached by uh, Murray Krieger, uh, he said, is there anything you would really miss at Yale? And I said, well, I would miss the uh, yearly visits of Jacques Derrida, who comes and gives seminars uh, uh, at Yale. Uh, he said, we'll hire him. How much does he make? And I told him those details and went out of there thinking he was just talking. Uh, uh, but within a week, Milliman had uh, uh, an official offer of a third time off-scale uh, tenured professorship for Derrida at a 50% increase in salary. And I remember while I was still considering the offer happening to be in Paris and meeting Derrida at his home in Rissonji outside of uh, Paris. Uh, Derrida uh, said, if you go, I'll go. It'll be the fountain of youth. I didn't uh, think to tell him or wouldn't have anyway that the fountain of youth is in Florida not in California. So Derrida came along at the same time I did though as a one, every every year a six-week uh, graduate seminar which he gave in English at his desire rather than in the French that he'd used at Yale. He was permitted to do either one. Why did I uh, make that move? It was, as they say, overdetermined. Uh, there were a lot of reasons. I was very happy at Yale and well treated there, but critical theory was not institutionalized. And Mary Krieger's great vision for UCI way at the beginning of its uh, foundation uh, was uh, to have uh, programs in the humanities, especially in literature, where critical theory and the history of criticism was a regular part of the program, both at the undergraduate and graduate level. And that meant in those days courses that were required for undergraduates and graduate students too in the history of criticism and in critical theory. And uh, it meant the Critical Theory Institute, which combined a number of, of uh, people uh, to meet periodically to hear papers and discuss critical theory. Uh, all of those things really took place, uh, 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 these visionary things. Uh, in a very short time after I arrived. It made Irvine, for me at the beginning, a wonderful place to teach and to hear papers by colleagues and to have more time for my writing.